Or the double Newman projection of 1,1 dimethyl cyclohexane looking down the C2 to C1 and C4 to C5 bonds. Let's go ahead and begin by drawing our cyclohexane. It looks like this. And let's choose this as our carbon 1 and there are two methyl groups on carbon 1. So let's draw one methyl group and one more methyl group. Cyclohexane takes a conformation that is called chair, and this is the most stable conformation of cyclohexane. So let's draw this molecule as a chair, and that will help us to draw Newman projections. To draw a chair, we will draw two pair lines, and then we will draw another two pair lines overlapping. We will close. And if this, let's say that this is my carbon 1. If this is my carbon 1, I have two methyl groups. And one methyl group will be, uh, so one methyl group will be on a wedge and another will be on a dash, which means that one methyl group will be up and another methyl group will be down. Up is straight up and down in this conformation is down parallel to this line. So here is my Newman projection. This is carbon 1, this is carbon 2, this is carbon 3, 4, 5, and 6. We are asked to look at C2 to C1. So what I'm going to do is I will also show the hydrogens because that's what I will have to draw, show in my Newman projection as well. Again, the carbon 2 has one hydrogen up and one down. On the carbon 2, the down position is straight down. And the opposition is up parallel to this line. I will do the same for hydrogen for, for carbon 4 and carbon 5. Down and up parallel to this line. And then up and down parallel to this line. Now that my Newman projection is drawn, I will be looking at carbon 2 to carbon 1 bond and carbon 4 to carbon 5 bond and I will be looking basically looking this way. So let's begin from the left side looking at carbon 4. I'm going to draw my circle and I'm going to ask what is my carbon 4 attached to? So it's attached to hydrogen on this side. This is the hydrogen. It's attached to hydrogen going down this one. It's attached to carbon number 3. This is carbon number 3. And then uh, when you look at it, basically carbon number 5 will be behind it. So we cannot show it. But what is my carbon 5 attached to? Carbon 5 is attached to hydrogen on top. And it's attached to hydrogen going down this way. Next. Let's go ahead. So this is carbon 4 to carbon 5 bond. Let's go ahead and look at carbon 2 to carbon 1 bond and do the same thing. So again, I draw my circle. And for carbon 2, this is my carbon 2. What bonds does it have? It has a hydrogen going down like so. It has this hydrogen going to the right. And it is also attached to carbon number 3. Let's connect this line. Next, behind it is carbon number 1. We cannot see this carbon, but we will see the groups attached to it. So carbon number 1 has a methyl going up. Methyl behind it, and I'm going to write CH3 here going up. Another methyl group going to the right. So another methyl group going this way. And what else is it, is it attached to? Um, it's attached to carbon number 6. I actually forgot to draw the third substituent for carbon number 5. Sorry. So carbon number 5, it has a hydrogen on top, hydrogen to the left, and it also has another carbon going to the right. So going here, and that's my carbon 6. So again, carbon 5 has up hydrogen, hydrogen to the left and it's connected to carbon 6 and similarly carbon 1 is connected to carbon 6 as well. So this is a more complicated Newman projection but if you do it step by step like I did 
it should make sense let me know if you have any questions and let me know what you're working on in your organic chemistry class right now